The world's oceans sustain us. Our oceans provide vast resources of food, and medicines are derived from animals and plants. The renewable resources that the ocean provides help sustain vibrant coastal communities and provides opportunities for recreation and renewal. Whether it's from the fish on your plate, or the carrageenan in your ice cream or lipstick or whatever the case might be, the ocean truly does provide for us every day. You know, the oceans, we've always thought the oceans to be limitless and in my lifetime we've seen that come to a screeching halt. We've seen fisheries declines, we've seen deteriorating water quality. Habitat loss, dead zones, oil spills, marine debris, and climate change. These are a few more problems the oceans face today. To help sustain and conserve the ocean's marine resources, the United States has developed a national system of marine protected areas. The National System works with resource managers, the public, scientists, and fishermen to conserve and manage a network of important marine habitats. Fish, birds, and marine animals don't live within man-made boundaries. They travel hundreds of miles for food, shelter, and breeding. Within marine protected areas, many different fish, animals, and plants can thrive grow, and spawn or reproduce. These MPAs can help sustain healthy fisheries by protecting breeding and nursery areas, conserving habitat, and producing larvae and fish that leave the MPA, thereby restoring fisheries outside their boundaries. A key factor to conserve and protect our marine resources is getting stakeholders, like fishermen, involved in conserving and managing these areas. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's National Marine Protected Areas Center works extensively with MPA stakeholders, like fishermen, on the development of the national system. The more local the control is, the more stakeholder buy-in that you have. So the fishermen are looking now to the scientists. They know where the fish are spawning. They know where they come during different times of year to aggregate for, for food. They know what they're eating. Within the national system of marine protected areas, the public, scientists, and fishermen are working together to manage and sustain our fisheries, our ecosystems, and our marine cultural heritage. The national network of MPAs hopefully will benefit in the fact that it's going to enhance our resources. It will help to protect our cultural sites. It will help to protect our biodiverse sites of coral and natural habitat and increase the status of our fish stocks. And along with the other tools in the toolbox of fishery management, MPAs hopefully will work in conjunction with those tools so that our resources will continue to expand and improve and that we'll all have something to fish for in the future.